Spotify is packed with many hidden gems that you may not even know exist. And today I'm showing you 15 features that totally change how you use it. Let's dive right in. Ever heard of a song, but don't really know the name? No problem. Just type at least three words from the lyrics into Spotify's search and boom, it'll usually find the song you're looking for. Plus you can add more words for even better accuracy. But Spotify's search engine doesn't just stop there. It also supports modifiers to fine tune your results. For instance, if you want to listen to an artist's song from a specific era, you can type in their name, followed by the word year, a colon, and then the year range without any spaces. And then you should see the songs from that artist within that timeline. You can even do just a single year, which works just as well. You can also search by genre, album, the label, and more. Mix and match these filters as well for super specific results and a lot more. If you want a full list of modifiers, I'll leave a link to an article that shows them all off. Another neat thing you can do is customize your playlist cover art directly on your phone. Before, you can only customize them through the desktop by uploading a picture. But just a few weeks ago, Spotify finally launched the ability to create custom cover art for a playlist directly on a mobile device. Just hop into any playlist you created, tap on the three dot menu, and hit create cover art. From there, you can upload a photo, or you can even jump into the cover art section where you can add extra elements like custom text, image maskings with some shapes, a colored background, stickers, and more. It's really sweet. Next, whenever a new album comes out from one of your favorite artists and you don't really have the time to listen to every new song, especially if the album is really large, there is a way to quickly preview each song without needing to fully listen to everything. To do this, just tap on this little animated rectangular icon within the album, and from there, a scrollable feed will appear to let you quickly preview each song in a TikTok style fashion. It's perfect for weeding out tracks that you're not into. Spotify also creates custom playlists that are curated based on the music you tend to listen to. My favorite is On Repeat, because it gives me a snapshot of my current music taste and all the songs I'm currently obsessed with. It's also a great way to find out what are your top songs currently instead of needing to wait for Spotify wrapped at the end of the year. Then there's also Repeat Rewind, which is pretty similar. It instead shows you the top songs that you used to listen to in the past, kind of like a throwback playlist. Daylist is the most interesting one because it analyzes your music listening patterns throughout the week and then suggests some tracks that you may want to listen to at that moment based on the past. It also gets updated every day between sunrise and sunset times. There's also another one called Discover Weekly, which helps you find new music based on your taste. And then Daily Drive, which brings together a mixture of news and music that you can listen to while you're on the road. So there are quite a few curated playlists out there for you. Plus within the search tab, you can even look for a section called Made For You, and you can quickly find all these playlists and other mixes that Spotify thinks you like. Now, if Spotify has recommended you music genres that you don't like, you can also jump into those playlists, select the three dot menu, and choose Exclude from your taste profile. This should give Spotify a sense of direction with what types of music it should avoid recommending. And one last hidden feature that you can do with playlists is that when you try to create one with Spotify, there's actually a way to let AI help you out. You just tell it the type of playlist you like for it to create and it'll do it. I had it make me one for when I need to focus and another where I can have all the top hits from the artists I follow. There are some occasions though where it won't get everything correctly, but for the most part, it works. Another neat trick that some people don't know about Spotify is that within its settings, you can actually enhance the audio quality. You just tap on your profile icon, then settings and privacy, media quality, and from there, you can increase the quality of your audio and video streaming when you're on Wi-Fi and mobile data. And if you're a premium user, you can even increase the quality of audio or videos you downloaded. Just keep in mind that if you choose to increase the quality with your downloaded content, it'll end up taking more space on your phone. And while we're in the settings, you can also go back and then head into the playback menu for even more ways to improve your listening experience. For example, you can tweak features like crossfade for smoother transitions between tracks and even enable an equalizer to customize the bass, treble, and surround sound. The options here can make a big difference, so take some time to experiment 
and find what works best for you. Now, if you're like me and spend most of your day working from home glued to a computer, then you know the importance of a comfy ergonomic chair. Enter the Doro C300 Pro from Sihu, this video sponsor. It's honestly one of the best office chairs that I've used yet. To put it in perspective, I'm six foot one and weigh around 200 pounds, and somehow this chair still had no problem supporting my weight and adjusting to my height. It can even hold a maximum load of up to 300 pounds. I also love how it looks. It's wrapped in this sleek, breathable mesh fabric and has a modern design that gives my workspace a cleaner look. Plus, when it comes to comfort, see who didn't hold back. They packed it with plenty of features that make sitting for long stretches actually enjoyable. For example, almost every component on this chair is adjustable. It has a really big cushion paired with seat depth adjustment, an automatic lumbar support that adjusts naturally to your spine no matter how you're sitting. The armrests are 60 adjustable, meaning that they can be moved in pretty much any direction. Up, down, back, forth, left, right, inward, outward, you name it, it does it. The headrest is also extremely customizable with similar movements and can be rotated to fit the natural curve of your neck, which is a must if you have constant neck pain. And that's not even mentioning that the seat height, recline angle, and seat depth can be adjusted with just one handle, which is easy to use for beginners. It's perfect for any intense gaming sessions or powering through hours of work at your desk so that your back stays supported, your neck doesn't ache, and your entire body feels relaxed. Finally, it's also built to last since the chair goes through rigorous testing before reaching you, carries some pretty tough materials, is certified with BIFMA and SGS, and even comes with three years of warranty so you'll have extra peace of mind. So if you're still using an old office chair that's seen better days, consider upgrading to the Doro C300 Pro Ergonomic Chair for a whole new level of comfort. See who is even having a Black Friday sale so that you can pick it up at a cheaper price. I left the link at the top of the description so that you can give your back the support it deserves. Anyway, back to Spotify. There's also a really easy way to find out about all the latest releases from your favorite artist. You just tap on the profile icon and then select what's new. This section highlights fresh tracks and even podcasts from creators you follow so you're always in the loop. Moreover, you can also find your listening history within that previous slide out menu. I just wish Spotify could add a calendar view to be able to jump to specific dates. That would make this feature so much better. For desktop users, keyboard shortcuts are a game changer. Want to skip a track? Press the control and right arrow key at the same time. Need to quickly search? Hit control plus L. You can even jump straight to your liked songs with Alt, Shift, and S. To see the full list of shortcuts, press Shift and forward slash while on the desktop app. Once you get the hang of these shortcuts, you'll wonder how you managed without them. If you just finished watching a movie or TV show and are really liking the soundtracks they've included, there's most likely a playlist for it on Spotify. You can either search for the movie or the show's name, or within the search tab, there's a section called TV and Movies, which carries many of them. You may even stumble across a movie or TV show you watched in the past that you totally forgot about. If you ever deleted a playlist but later on regretted it, there's actually a way to bring it back. You just need to go to your browser and then Spotify.com and then click on your profile icon, account, and you should see an option called Recover Playlist. In there, you can quickly restore any playlist that you deleted in the past 90 days. As most of you know, Spotify lets your friends or followers see what you're currently listening to. But if you'd like to temporarily go private for a few hours to listen to some Guilty Pleasure songs, you can head into the settings, privacy and social, and enable private session. This hides your listening activity for your followers for six hours and ensures that these songs also don't mess with your recommendations. Spotify also integrates seamlessly with some third-party apps like Instagram and TikTok. If you find a song you love in a story, post, or video, you can tap on the music icon and you'll usually see an option to add it directly to your Spotify library. It's simple, but super handy. And finally, when you're not sure what to play, there's a feature called DJ, which lets an AI take over and play songs that it thinks you may like. The voice is surprisingly human too, and that's because it is. And if you're not feeling the current vibe, you can just skip to the next track or just change genres altogether. It's like having your personal DJ on call. 
Anyway, tap on this video if you'd like to learn about some more hidden tricks that you can do within your Google Messages app. If I helped you learn a trick or two, hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Thanks for sticking all the way to the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!